Hi guys, we're here today. We're all in funky moods because we gotta talk about robots trans doing trans things and all other trans things. robots incorporated. Get it right. I'm sorry. I know you're the host. Bye. Uh, huh? Yeah, that whatever the fuck that even means. But whatever. Hi, I'm Moo. That's Toby. Yeah. That's, Hello. That's Russell. Hi, Moo. That's Jimbo. Jerry Where? and the all so famous. Whedon. Oh, I'm famous now? You're the real yes, star of the show, you son You're of a bitch. You're the real star. We come for you. Oh, God, that came out oh. too long, so we'll just go. <laughs> I come for you, Charles Whedon. I come for you quite frequently. I, I have a whole folder full of pictures. The folder's called Charles Whedon. And it's just like uh, three, four hundred headshots of you. Oh, I, I've made more. some headshots you, there. You don't, you don't have that. Like you might have like a couple because you know of the like timeshare pictures, but um, you don't have like hundreds of headshots of me. I know. Oh, I don't. don't. Oh, yeah. I don't. Oh God! Did I just uh... don't make me plug in an external hard drive right now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get this show on the road. We're gonna start off with Halo, Shmalo, Galo. All right, I'll see you guys later. Great show. Bye. 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 Love Bye. yous. We don't love you. <laughs> Fuck you, Lou. Charles Weed said he would kiss me. Right before the show started, he was like, I would love to kiss Jim so much on the mouth with my tongue. He sure did. True story. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm queer. I repeat, I'm beer. Knew it. You ever? You all heard it. Lou said he's queer. Well, I don't have beer, but I do have Pepsi. So oh, That's, that's awesome. sugar free. Yeah. I, okay, Rusty, I don't know if you really watched this, so you might tune out and, you know, whatever. whatever. No, I don't. Okay, that's good to know. You need to right. you need to broaden your television horizon. Not everything can be compound media, buddy. Well, it should be. Lies. No. That, lo that lies is directed at Lou, not you, Rusty. Yeah. Oh. All right, so I watched episodes one and two, Whedon has. Mm -hmm. um, how about you, Jetty? Mm -hmm. No. And you're also gay. I've, watched I've got it downloaded. I just can't be bothered. I watched one and a quarter of the second yeah. episode. Mm -hmm. Well, you I probably fell asleep because you were tired. You know, you've been yeah. working all them hours, mm -hmm. making all that overtime money. But yes, I'm enjoying episodes one and two so far. I like what the show's building to. It was like, look, as I said before we went live, episode two was entertaining, but it was not as good as the first episode. It was still uh, better than Picard. Uh, well, actually, I kind of enjoyed the most recent episode of Picard. But we'll save that for the Sunday show. But um, in regards to Halo, I only really have one complaint so far. Who the fuck is the blonde chick who's been hanging out with the Covenant? Because she's not in the video games. Okay, remember, they did this. No, no, not... no, 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 no. I know that this is not even, this is entirely separate from the games. And I'm not saying that her presence with the Covenant is a bad thing. I'm just curious. Like, where are they going to go with her character? Because having a human living amongst the Covenant is quite interesting to me. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of threw me off, too. Yeah. That's for you, Whedon. Oh, yeah, I can clearly see that. I, I don't know what they mean by that. Read hey it. Lou, where, who, hey Lou, wherever you are, it's abyssal sea. Oh God, damn it! He's, he's singing the song. <laughs> <laughs> Which hey hey Lou, wherever you Lou are, are, it's abyssal seaweed so far. With Toby, Rusty, Jerry, and not Jim. Mm. And not Jim. <laughs> so yeah, Jim just sings the songs. He's no part of the show anymore. So in this whole little group here, I'm the celebrity here. Yeah, that doesn't sound like yeah. something that I want to be. So, uh, too bad. <laughs> yeah, I know. Tough for me. <laughs> yeah, I, I just had to come back to answer that with, you damn right. <laughs> wait, 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 okay. wait a minute. Uh, the hat in that picture is that is that my hat? No. Or is it your hat? That's my hat. 
Okay. Well, then we have, have the same hat? hat. Did you take his hat, Toby? Yes. You guys should throw hats. Hang on. My hat is over on my bookshelf, which is where apparently I carry my hats. So, yeah. <laughs> huh. That's interesting. Nobody, nobody loved that. That's a... His hat's on his bookshelf, which is apparently where he carries his hats. Nobody. One of the greatest. That's the great. That's the line of the show. Anyway, <laughs> hashtag where he carries his hats. So, when does the podcast end? I don't know what the fuck it's at. <laughs> In fifty-five minutes. <laughs> yeah, we make but, it uh, that cool. Today's just one of them days. Although I will, I will say one thing about uh, in the scene of Halo. It happened pretty early in the episode too. So Toby, you may have seen this. Mm -hmm. uh, the the leaders of the Covenant with the blonde woman standing next to them are talking to that elite. Uh -huh. And I think that Elite is the TV show version of the Arbiter. I think that's who that is. Who the fuck is the Arbiter? The Arbiter is a character that was introduced in the games in Halo 2. Okay. Uh, and, and there's actually oh. there's a couple of missions where you're actually playing the game from his perspective. And throughout the game, you are switching between the two characters, Master Chief and Arbiter, until eventually the two of them team up because apparently the elites uh, are basically kicked out of the Covenant and replaced with the Brutes. And so the elites rebel against the Covenant and kind of help the humans. And the elite, uh, the main elite is the Arbiter. It sounds like a complicated story. It's Halo. It, yes. It's always complicated. Hey, but we I, did get to see some tits and ass in this episode. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Better. Like, look, she stripped down, but we, they did not. Sh they only showed her butt. That's it. We didn't see her boobs. My dude, you saw some side titties and all that. Until we see nipple, it's not nudity. I'm gonna come. <laughs> oh, oh well, yeah. there it is. <laughs> Oh, but other than that... Oh, God damn it, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I miss what he was ever doing. He he, he showed some zip, some nipple. I almost called it a zipple. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have Austin Powers on the brain going like, would you like to have a suckle of my zipple? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's been a while since I've seen that. Yeah, it has. So, <laughs> would you recommend this Halo thing, or... Um, I personally would. I would only recommend it if you are interested, at least in the like in like the effects, the costume design, and most importantly, the story. If you're interested in the story, sure, check it out. But if it's not something that you were interested, like if you weren't into the games, I would maybe watch one episode. And if that episode doesn't, no, catch no, 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 no. You what? gotta give if you're gonna start a new series. You gotta give it the first three episodes. Well, normally for me, it's the first five episodes. If it doesn't catch my interest by the fifth episode, I'm out. But um, for Halo, since I'm already familiar with the property, I'm gonna stick with it for the entire first season. See, so, I don't care about the property. Fuck Xbox and all their games. They could go suck Jim's ass crack while it's full of shit. Please, hey, great, great. We've well, summoned that. Yeah. Yeah, but as far as you know, I I like the story being told the way they're doing it. I'm intrigued. We got some side boobies and some booty crack. So, Kevin, although I will say one more episode, I will I will say that I am very interested in where they're going to take the character Fishner, uh, the guy that's uh, the the new head of Madrigal, uh, the guy that was uh, executing the people in the oh. line. Yeah. Oh, Bro, oh. I'm trying to remember where where did we see that cunt? Uh, he was, was in, he in Game he, of Thrones. He was. He was, he he was, was in also Game in the show Torchwood. Yes, he was. And he was also in the Expanse. He was in Pacific Rim too. Yeah. He was. Yeah. yeah. He played one of the doctors, uh, one of the scientists that were trying to like find out why the kaiju were coming to our world. <laughs> what do you got against the kaijus? Yeah. Be some kind of anti. Was that the, we to the first Pacific Rim? Well, the they were te well, technically they were in both movies. Pacific Rim is so forgettable that I've kind of forgotten about. Hey, it. 
Hey, Pacific Rim is not that bad of a movie. Pacific Rim Uprising, however, is a garbage movie. But the first one's good. Look at that. We only got one viewer, and I'm so proud. Ooh. They keep coming in and out. <clears throat> yeah. I'm just, totally I'm just Jimmy really upset nobody got my anti-seismetic joke for Kaiju. <laughs> They're big. I got it. Boom, boom. It went over my head. It was a it good was, one. It was too short, so I couldn't. It didn't reach me. Oh, oh what the fuck! <laughs> Don't forget fat. You, uh, oh, you know. probably can't wipe your ass. Uh, I can't wipe. My, oh, hold on, hold on. Or, I think or, when's the last time you've seen your penis? I was about to have to. Every fucking day. You see, you 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 take one hand and you can hold <coughs> your dick. Because I got a big enough dick that I could still hold it. This is me describing how I pee. So, but let me ask you this. Unlike Johan hey, Phillips, you know, who's... See, I'm still fat, right? But I can still wipe my ass. Look at that. Big That's fucking tits. <laughs> but here's the important question. Do you... Remember, uh, Johan Phillips, who shits in the showers... Uh, do you yeah. have to do what he does, which is... This motherfucker stands up when he shits... And then wipes his ass standing, and it's like, don't, it, that's pancaking the shit. What do you, what do you, seriously? He would do that. Does he, I drove to Detroit with this motherfucker from New Jersey to Detroit. And after he stopped in the bathroom, got back in the car, we're all like, yo, Han, did you wipe your ass? And he's like, yeah. And then that's when the other kid was with us, was like, yeah, but I was watching him through the stall because and this is serious he literally said this he goes i had no choice i saw him stand up and then i heard the toilet paper and then the dude creeped over and watched him from over the stall as he wiped his ass standing what the fuck i mean if he could believe that he could actually wipe his own ass why would you be creeping over the stall that's just luke is saying watch how do you not look at that the equivalent of giving a rim job after a marathon yeah. I mean, Jerry, when he shat in the shower, I was standing right outside of it. We were passing a joint back and forth. And as soon as I heard all the duty come out and smelled the smell, I ripped the curtain open because I got to see for myself. You got to see if that shit's going on. I didn't know part of this story. I just thought someone was just randomly watching him crack see, his ass. You know oh, you, you were there for part one of the story, Jerry. I'm too famous for this. I'll be back later. See you guys. Bye. Wipe your ass sitting down, Jim. Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't there something called the easy wipe where you could like put toilet paper on the end of it just to you know, reach back? Most fat people, they do it so simple. They get up a day and they just wash their asshole out and be done with it. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's why I could never shit in the sh shower because everything would just get stuck in the, the pipes underneath. You the have to be. Luke is telling me I have to be able to take the fat joke. What, what is that comment, though? This idiot telling me to wipe your ass sitting down, dot, 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 Jim. Didn't you listen to the story, K. Durr? Maybe all that weed you're giving out to the compound media boys is affecting your fucking brain. Maybe you want to send me some of that weed, dick. Yeah. Or Toby. And Toby, too. And Charles Whedon, because he's never smoked it and he needs to. Hey, hey, I actually have smoked weed before. It's just been years. If we ever meet in real life, we're smoking weed together, or I'm fucking you. I will hold you down and kiss you both? all over your face and lips. I won't fuck both? you, because that'll be a rape. But I will, so like, squeeze your titties and tickle you, and I'll kiss your cheeks and your nose. Are you going to take I'll him to Jurassic Park after that, too? Yes. <laughs> Did you not notice yes. when you said you're going to fuck him, he smiled at you? <laughs> he smiled at you like he's like, oh, yeah, give it to me, Jim. Because he's a nice boy. Yes, he is. How's this for nice? Go fuck yourselves. Very nice. <laughs> Rude. Yeah. I'll be right back. I gotta go to get, take care of some dinosaurs. My son sent me this thing on Twitter a little while ago. I, I don't understand it. Some guy was getting jumped by like a woman, maybe two women, and another guy, but they were punching him very feminine. In. And next thing you know, one person pulls the guy's pants down, punches him in the butt cheek, and then sticks a finger in his ass. What? what are you finding this like on like world star hip hop? No. That shit's gay. Okay. okay. Well, Lou liked to post links from world star hip hop. 
So, yeah. He, at least he oh, used to. Every now and then I might, but... Yeah. So they fingered him up the ass just so they could find cum at the crime scene. Oh, what? this one. Yeah, I saw this earlier. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Gay. It was so bad. <sighs> well, I don't know. Somebody's having a good time in that in that fight. So yeah. I, I don't know who the person fingering the butthole. Probably or the person taking the beating. Oh, that's probably who knows? Because he, he once again punched hard. One would have to assume having your butthole fingered is is more fun than fingering a butthole. Because like, <laughs> would you stick your finger in a pile of poo? That doesn't sound like fun. No. I mean, a butthole is not too far, but at least I there must be it. some sort of pleasure and nerve. So if you're receiving the finger butt, it's pro pro yep. <laughs> Jim's got a good point. Gay I, 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 can, can, I can confirm getting a finger up the butt is very oh. weird. Wonderful. Oh, I think oh. I think oh, you elaborate, Weedon. This is a story yeah. you opened up. Now you're Please tell, tell us everything. Who's um, clipping? The woman oh, said, don't say any more. She said, stop, 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 run. I had I had um, health problems uh, and with involving bleeding, and I had to get a colonoscopy done at the age of 26. That's what they all but say. In order for in order to get to see if I needed a colonoscopy, they had to perform an examination. So the doctor put on some gloves, stuck his finger up my butt and felt around. And it was very, very weird. <laughs> Did he have you put his pants next to his? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I realize that by telling this story, I am opening myself up to a shit ton of jokes from you guys. I'm sure so, was a shit ton, shit ton. <laughs> <laughs> like the fun. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, just just bring it on. I'm fully prepared. It is what it now, is. Was it at least a female doctor? No, it was a dude. Oh, so gay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Did you ejaculate you on the floor? or No, no. Oh, God no. damn it, Jerry. I've heard that happens to people, but I'm not sure if that's when you're older or not. Well, no, it's just like um, I uh, I had to get this done because I had some pretty severe bleeding. And uh, they, uh, like, it got so bad that I had difficulty staying awake. I had lost that much blood. And uh, they uh, found out that what was causing it was internal hemorrhoids. They can be inside? Yeah, yeah, they can be inside. Really? Oh, fuck. Yep, yep, and it How was not pleasant. Uh, they um, they had to give me suppositories. I had to repeatedly. So you had to stick that up your butt. Yep, I had to do that for two weeks. God, that Shit. Is so oh, weird. hey, look, Literally. I found your doctor. <laughs> <laughs> look, I knew it. I knew you guys were going to start throwing jokes. I'm not. I'm not. Offended or anything, I'm all good, man. Okay, Just so who here has watched Top Gun? Years ago, I haven't seen it in a long time. Regardless of when, but you know, I don't know if we is raising his hands or drinking at the same time. Do you not see the bottle in my hand, motherfucker? <laughs> did you see Top Gun? No. What? God, you're gay. I'm not a fan of the movie. You're gayer. Yeah, Are I you looking it. forward uh, to Top Gun 2? Me? Well, the ones who have seen Top Gun. Right. Um, no. no. So the trailer came out for it. But I'll watch it, but I'm not like, oh my god, it's coming out. Well, you've not pre-ordered your tickets to see opening day at midnight? No. I don't no, think we I... could pre-order tickets yet. Probably not. Is it May comes out? It think. comes out at the end of May. But yeah. see, my thing is this. It's one of those where you feel... Why do we need this movie? Yeah. But it actually looks good. I haven't watched any recent trailers, but I remember watching like a trailer like a year or two ago. But Probably a year ago when it was supposed to come out last yeah. year. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's been delayed like four or five times now, right? Well, blame... Well, we all know what to blame. Well, so. actually, I think it's been delayed, I want to say, twice. And on that second delay, they literally... They didn't push it by much. They just moved it a whole fucking year. Yeah. They Which said, means that they come out a year later. A bunch of shit. Did they blame that on COVID or something else? Well, every delay is blamed on COVID. Mm -hmm. Like, but look, think... Morbius is getting a... F for a movie that's been delayed for fucking two years, 
to be as horrible as it is, they could have done some work in the two years to make that movie better. Have you seen what? Morbius yet? I'm I don't know what that is. You're not going to. Yeah, I At watched. Least not in the theaters. I'll wait. This is going to wait the 45 day window when it comes to my home TV screen. Yep. I'll watch it. But, what is Morbius? Uh, uh, Morbius is that new Jared Leto like superhero movie? Comic book movie. Comic book movie. Oh. Yeah. Um, it's way, it's there, way there, over your pay grade, buddy. There is a critic that I watch, uh, Jeremy Johns. He gave Morbius his worst rating. He basically said it was dog shit. Yeah. I'm like, yep, yeah, that sounds about right. Are you vaporizing or is that like a cigarette pen? It's a vape thing. It's like a Delta 8 thing. Oh, you do Delta 8? Yeah. What brand? This one is Paca. Pacha. I don't know. It kind of, this one kind of sucks. Does it? Not all Delta 8s created equally. No. My cousin owns a gorilla. Adult what are you guys eight. talking about that for? Because he's smoking, Vaping. and I asked him what he was smoking. I just tried Delta Nine for the first time. It's pretty nice. That's right. That's all you try. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So you know, the name of the title is Trans Incorporated Trans Bots and shit. So. <sighs> Michael Bay recently came out and said he should have stopped at the third movie as so his last the first one. Movie. I don't think so. I, I Look, for all its faults with Revenge of the Fallen, you can't put that one on Michael Bay. You have to literally put that on the writer's strike. They rushed it because of the writer's strike because if the writer's strike would have happened, they would have had to delay the movie. Mm. So the weakest part of that move, like... People seem to realize, don't realize Transformers has always had human element. Whether it's the cartoons, the comics, or even the Japanese versions of them. All center around humans. Hence why the Autobots have such a protection for the humans, because they're, they're life. Mm-hmm. But can... Uh, well. It's been a long time since I've so- seen the first three of those Transformer movies, yeah. but I really enjoyed them. But just because of all the effects at the time, they were. That's great. my thing too. Like, no, they were just I'm a Transformers fucking, fan. Uh, I don't know. The, what only, I good, uh, the only good Transformers movie, in my opinion, is Dark of the Moon. I really liked Dark of the Moon. Oh yeah, because they fucked up Chicago. Yeah, Dark of the Moon was amazing. Revenge of the Fallen was okay. The first one, there were moments that I liked. However, when Shia LaBeouf and and everyone else like stopped being in the movie and they went with Mark Wahlberg, I didn't even bother. I had which one was which one was uh, Mark Wahlberg? One, sorry. uh, Trans to Mark Wahlberg in four and five. Yes, and I have not seen either of those movies because I stopped caring. They're not that bad. I stopped caring after Dark of the Moon. They're not that bad. I just don't know why they didn't bring back Shia LaBeouf because he did go on his weirdo rants. He, he He's still doing weirdo rants. I don't know what the fuck Jim is doing. I, I only I, saw I, the first movie, so I'm lost here. I loved the We Will Div- Not Divide Us or whatever the hell it was. The oh, yeah, the thing. webcam thing. Yes. That yeah, and then uh, where your and girlfriend then was, showed up, Toby. Then there was that whole thing where he was just sitting quietly in a bo- in a small room, and like somebody sexually assaulted him, and he just sat there and took it. <laughs> well, Shia LaBeouf tried to fuck a transformer in the second one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The beginning part. I, that's the only part I saw. Yeah. The only issue I really have with the Mega second Fox? one is how they made Devastator. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. Devastator looked. Fucking redonkulous. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, my favorite Transformers movie of out of all of them is the animated one in nineteen eighty six. Oh yeah, yeah. And then they did that movie which had Orson Welles do the voice of Omicron or something. Get it fucking right, it's Unicron. Unicron. Whatever. Orson Welles? Yeah, yeah. Orson Welles did the voice of Unicron. He was he drunk? Voice. 
No, he wasn't drunk. It's right before he died, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Hmm. You know, everyone talks shit, but voice actors, you know, they lend regular actors do lend their talents to voice acting. Yeah. yeah. Dorothy he Wells did theater. He did everything. Yeah. Um, a... Leonard Nimoy was Galvatron. Hmm. Um, Judd Nelson was Hot Rod. Rodimus, he, he played Hot Rod in Rodimus Prime. Uh, fuck. Weird Al Yankovic, I believe, was Rekar. <laughs> hey, heck! Well, who the fuck is shooting fireworks? Rusty. That's why he's all shooting right fireworks. There. I was laughing. That was laughing. It sounded like fucking gunshots. <laughs> that? Look at <laughs> yeah, that was weird. <laughs> But, you know, uh, I've had my fun with them. I've the best movie out of all of the, the live action ones, besides the first Transformers, has to be Bumblebee. Okay, uh, Lou, have you watched that Bumblebee spinoff movie, the one with uh, John Cena? That's the movie I'm talking about. Oh, I thought you were talking about uh, Bumblebee's presence in the other movies. No, no, no. I'm talking about Bumblebee. Okay. The John Cena I, one, because, dude, it literally gave us like three minutes on fucking Cybertron and it looked glorious. If you haven't seen it, it's I, not a play. I've not seen it. I have, don't so, really, I'm not a big fan of Transformers. <laughs> I've just seen like the movies and some of the shows. Oh, and uh, how about a yeah, segue same. into my thoughts on Moonfall? By all means. Break it down. Is this the, there's been like three okay. movies this week that have came out that have the title Moon in them. So just so you know, he is going to spoil this. So if you don't want spoilers, cover your ears. It's a Disney and thing, right? Jack your car. No, no, it's a it's a Roland Emmerich disaster movie. Is what it is. Bro, his best movie was fucking Independence Day. Oh no, I can agree with that. Actually, no, his two best movies: Independence Day, Stargate. Love both of those movies. He did Stargate? Yes, he did. Stargate was a good movie. Yeah, uh, Ro I Roland Emmerich directed the Ro Roland did Emmerich. Did he also do um, 2012? Yes. Okay, 2012 was a good movie, too. He also did The Day After Tomorrow with Dennis Quaid. Oh, that yeah, wasn't, okay. wasn't bad, neither. I actually oh, that was him. awful. Yeah. Bro, don't you know those movies are just you sit back, turn off the fucking suspension of belief, and eat some popcorn and enjoy whatever cockamamie bullshit they throw. To at put you. it simply, to put it simply, Roland Emmerich is known for disaster movies. If there's a disaster movie out there, a big one, okay. Roland Emmerich probably directed it, or at the very least was involved. Um, but no, in regards to Moonfall, basically it's about what you would expect: the moon drops out of orbit and comes into a collision course with Earth. And I'm just going to get to, like, the major reveal. They turn the freaking moon into a Dyson sphere. Like, it's this, like, apparently humans had existed on, like, existed in the universe over a billion years ago. And that they were advanced. There was no war, no conflict, no nothing. They had easy lives until the artificial intelligence they created had attempted to wipe them out. So they decided to create like a last a last ditch effort to survive and let their species continue so they came to our point in the universe where earth is supposed to be and they created a dyson sphere and it did the whole like orbital thing attracting like particles and materials that would eventually shape into earth and thus the moon is pretty much the thing that created earth itself and like now we exist and we all have our billion year ancestors to thank for our existence and why does um, this sound so fucking stupid oh no that's exactly what i said when i saw it when i saw that reveal i was like what the fuck it's just like the moon at one point is fucking doing God. This, that's look, what look, i saw in a trailer look look Look, see in the cinema and then just eat popcorn and suspend all your disbelief. You might enjoy Roland, it. <laughs> Roland Emmerich has made a back. lot of bad movies, but the thing is that his movies are oak are good enough to where you can just turn your brain off for a while, eat some popcorn, and have a good fun time. Moonfall does not provide that. 
It just <laughs> uh, it, it provides a big turd. Oh my god! It's always like, oh my god! It's just like, what the fuck happened, Roland? I mean, my expectations were already pretty low. How could you disappoint even that? <laughs> it's just, I mean, Charles, you should tell them about the exposition where Halle Berry uh, asserted herself as a in, in in her position. You know what I'm talking about? It was uh, give me so some, give me, give me, melodramatic. Give me it was early on. She was coming into a place and. It was. She was basically saying, I, "I can't even describe it." It was as simple as like, "The moon is going to fall into the ocean." I'm a doctor. Those weren't the lines, but it was just is it ringing any bells yet. I, no, I'm not ringing any bells. The only thing that really r rings any bells is that there's a scene in the movie where they are going to try to nuke the moon to try to stop it from. Yeah. They Spoiler tried, alerts. Bye. Yeah. The tides. The tides. Yeah. They try. They try to nuke the moon. That's what they try to do. So they put the keys in the nuke launching machine, and they nuke like one of the machines. Yeah, yeah. It's I like know. a copy machine. You have to have a fucking password to get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but no, it's just like one of the generals puts the key in and goes Jerry's one, two, three, turns the key. The other general who puts his key in doesn't turn the key, so it's like turn your fucking key, soldier, and all that stuff. And then like the guy pulls out his gun and he says, "My wife is up there trying to stop this." And it's like your ex-wife. And I was like, I don't care. I, said, I need to protect my family. And um, he says, like, God help you if you're wrong. And the guy says, God help us all. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> that has to be the stupidest line I have ever fucking heard. The whole fucking movie is stupid. Yes, this is stupid even according to Emmerich standards, which is saying a lot. <laughs> I'm reading reviews for it just now, and it says, just watching the trailer for it lowers your IQ by 10 points. <laughs> that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Okay, I, would, I would actually say that the last disaster movie that I saw, which was Geostorm, that was directed by Dean Devlin. Uh, and that is, movie was stupid. <laughs> it was better than Moonfall. What Geostorm? about the... What about yeah. that uh, one movie that came out recently with um, the chick from Hunger Games and DiCaprio? Uh, the Sky's Not Falling or something oh, like that? Oh, uh, uh, Don't Look Up, I think it's what yeah, it's called. Yeah, Don't yeah. Look Up. Yeah. yeah. That uh, yeah, movie I, was stupid, too. I have no interest in I watching it. I didn't watch it. My wife watched it, and at the time I was watching something on my computer. So I would just, like, stop listening. Um, Speaking I would of peek, I would I, glance. I enjoyed it, but... I was well, like, what I think I think the fact that that movie was like what I, from what I got of the trailer for Don't Look Up, just the type of comedy that it is. I think being stupid is what they were going for. Yeah, that's yeah. What was well, that they movie? Just released another stupid movie today called Bubble. Okay, I don't know what directed, that is. directed by Jad, uh, Judd Apatow. Oh, so oh, no, fuck that! I'm not a fan of Judd Apatow. I'm not. Sucks. Oh, dude, he yeah. made some classic comedies, man. I Four don't like his first... style of comedy. The last movie from no, him, that I, 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 I think the last movie I saw of him that I watched was the Forty Year Old Virgin, and I was not a fan of that movie. No, uh, what, what was the movie like with the part where he fucking made Wilson on his stomach? No, <laughs> I just you didn't like comedy. Kelly Clarkson. No, I said uh, that. Well, that that part was funny, but the rest of the movie I didn't like. I just I thought it was, Fair. I thought it was stupid. I didn't like Knocked Up either. Or I'm this is for Gen is gone. I didn't see any of those. Yeah. Well, they're making a sequel to This Is Forty called This Is Fifty. Oh boy. Oh great. Yeah, Look, can't wait. my issue with that comedy is the same issue that I have with most comedies. They're boring and they're lazy. It's just, I mean, it's the same freaking movie. Every single but comedy. This is a comedy show. And if you can't take the joke, then why are you on a comedy show? Excuse me, That's Moo. Not what I, I have a question. Me. Moo, what's the yes. name of the movie you just said you saw? Bubbles? Oh, I the Bubble. But it's on Netflix. Bubbo? The, the Bubble. bubble. The Bubble. Yeah. No, nigga, Bubble. Bubble. No, John Bumble? Like, it's a quarantine yeah. movie. Yeah, a group oh. of actors and And is it a comedy? It's a movie in a hotel. Is it a comedy? Yeah, it's meant to be. On the site that I, I legally get movies from, it says it is. I may have to give that a shot. Thank you. 
a group of actors and actresses stuck in a pandemic bubble at a hotel attempts to complete a film. Yep. That sounds lovely. Oh, I, I know about, out the N-word, man. I know, oh, I know about this movie, movie because uh, I recently watched an episode of Hot Ones where the guy was interviewing Leslie Mann, who is in this movie, and she was promoting the movie during it. So, yeah. Well, what the fuck? That's his wife. He's in all his movies. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I didn't know they were married until I looked it up the other day. How about 28 years later? What the fuck was 28 years later? There is no 28 years later. Are you sure? 28 weeks, maybe, he means? There is tw- there is 28 weeks later. Oh, well, is it 28 days later? And then, then there's... Weeks. Tw- weeks. Then weeks. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But, um... 20... Oh, he just came up with a sequel title. 28 years later. <laughs> Dude, that is not original. People have been talking no. about that potential sequel for years. This is actually a real months. movie, guys. Uh, 28 years later, it's a sequel to that Sandra Bullock rehab movie. What? No, oh no, no, no. That's but it actually is uh, later. Nope, it's not. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's a short. It's a, it's, a, it's a short from 2011. Oh man, God, we're tanking so bad, guys. Oh, that's awful. We're gonna get the worst reviews ever, man. Oh, no. We're gonna be this called. Isn't the, this awful. isn't the other show. You guys are doing great. Don't even go down that what? route. All right. What was the movie with the hundred? You're a heavy hitter, hitter Lou. I'm sorry, Rusty. I'm sorry. I just wanted to remind oh, you, Lou. You're joke? a heavy hitter. Is that a fat joke? Yeah, I I get it. I am heavy, and I'm a hitter. What was that, Rusty? The movie with the Hunger Games chick and the guy from uh, one of the movies where they're in space, and the only two people that are awake. Interstellar. Oh, Chris Pratt. Yeah, Chris Pratt. What was that was movie? Oh, yeah. um, you're talking about. I watched that movie too. That was pretty yeah. fucking good. Yeah, I never yeah. saw I never saw the movie because I thought it was going to be too lovey dovey because it was basically a romance. It, it, a little it, bit. It's yeah. a little romantic, but with a twist because slight spoiler, he wakes up because something goes wrong and the pod wakes him up. So to not be lonely, he woke her up, oh, and then they end up dying. <laughs> and then they what? End up dying. Oh, well, after like a hundred years or something. Well, they don't get to live that long. They live. I, I think he dies first, and then she died a little bit down the line. But you know, they died alone in the spaceship while everybody else stayed sleeping. It would have been so, funny if she died, so he just woke up another hot chick and started banging her. <laughs> that is. Like, well, fuck this. Oh, passengers, man. passengers. That's yeah, that sounds that sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I said I enjoyed that movie. Oh, uh, speaking of movies that I tried to watch recently, which I gave up after like ten minutes of watching the movie, um, Cosmic Sin on Netflix. I tried to watch that. It's that Bruce Willis Frank Grillo movie. Yeah. Why would you Bruce waste your Willis. time? Huh? I mean, look, look, we can't make fun of Bruce Willis if the poor guy has a piece. Oh no, no, no! Oh, I'm not. I'm not making fun of Bruce Willis. I'm just saying the movie as a whole is just fucking he's terrible. He's had alopecia for the last fifty years, so yeah, his hair's never been grown. He's had that he's... since Die Hard too. <laughs> his his hair died hard. Here's a <laughs> what? <laughs> Here's a current picture of Bruce Willis, by the way. <laughs> I'll, I'll zoom zoom in on my face. No, oh, you okay. gotta zoom into the camera. Yeah. No, I know oh. how. There you go. I got you. I got you. Onion rings. <laughs> <laughs> At least he knows his shit. <laughs> that was beautiful. I couldn't have done a better job myself. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard to forget his obsession with onion rings because I saw that video that one time and I was like, okay, what the fuck is the whole deal with onion rings? Yes, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he had that now. Raviolis. Oh, yeah, ravioli. Onions. Okay, what else does he have an obsession with? Oh, he had an obsession with this sitting is. here saying, that video is Photoshop. It was it's edited. Not edited. It's edited. edited. Not real at all. I- not real at all. Oh, God. Never I again, repeat. Jerry. 
Will you angry. make a video of Frankie McDonald slapping Will, uh, Chris Rock? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. I've got so many ideas after that one, but I don't want to do it because I would yeah, laugh. Would so, I would laugh so hard if somebody edited in Frankie beating the shit out of Chris Rock. <laughs> Jerry did. Jerry did. I did he put on his Monday. head on it, and he did not <laughs> like it. I did it on Monday, and he sent me at like five DMs, being like, "Jerry, it's edited. It's edited. I repeat, it's edited. Someone photoshopped me. It's edited. I repeat, it's edited. It's edited." It's edited. I, guess, I repeat, it's edited. I guess we don't have a video <laughs> up here, do we? <laughs> uh, we had it in our... Uh, <laughs> I don't see oh, it. dude, that uh, shit. Yeah, he ended up replying to it and getting like one and a half thousand likes on his message that said it was edited and my phone just did not stop fucking going off all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did have to delete it. Well, I didn't have to, but I felt bad because Frank is a guest on our shows on most of them. Sometimes, so. yeah. Also, mm -hmm. I love him. He's a beautiful boy. Good guy, Frankie. Uh, Lou, a minute ago, a little while ago, you mentioned like voice actors. There's a really good documentary called "I Know That Voice," and it talks about the whole world of uh, voice acting and like it. It kind of goes back to like uh, Mel uh, Mel uh, Blanc. Who did like the Bugs Bunny shit and all that stuff at the beginning? Oh yeah, that guy does everybody. Yeah, Barney Brothers. And, like, and it has a lot of the other major players of the current. Mm -hmm. stuff. Well, if it if it's focused, if it also introduces a lot of the current ones, I would. It's a lot of the current ones too. I wouldn't be surprised if Jennifer Hale was mentioned at least once. I think so, but well, Jennifer Hale has her hands in a shit ton of performances, voice acting wise. Yeah, because I know uh, John DiMaggio's in it, Billy West is in it, mm -hmm. um, Mel Blanc, um, Mark Hamill's in it, mm -hmm. and Tara Strong. I forgot uh, Mark Hamill did all that. And a Bro, bunch of Mark other Hamill, people. he's a god with voice acting. Yeah. Yes, I'm he the was. Joker, baby! Uh, Tom Kenny. That was horrible. I know. Because Tom no, Kenny I... does, like, shit tons of just... Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Troy Baker was there, uh, Nolan North. Um, who else? Troy Baker does Chris Redfield, right? Pause that real I quick. So, yeah. I just got Pause. a message saying we found Bruce's girlfriend. What? She doesn't have a camel toe. She has a camel butt. I can't believe oh, she could get her head spun around that far for her ass to be at the front of her. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, well, that's something that I'm going to have to add to the very long list of things that I cannot unsee. It's like the gels of like some alien creature. That's that's not good. Don't How play is that copyright for music. Show? What is that, Mariah Carey or something? You can't play that on YouTube. That's it. Copyright strike incoming. Is that edited? It's 11 seconds long. It's edited. I like how that's the worst that, thing from that, that video. From the song. Fucking five seconds and they'll fucking cop. That's it. We're struck. <laughs> All right. Oh god! Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna need some really strong bleach after that one. I'm gonna play it again just for that comment. So oh god damn it! it. So, I'm, At I'm least you don't do freeze like someone else we know. You say words. <laughs> who is this someone else we know? Damien. Oh yeah, I don't know who that is. Hi, Damien. Hi, Damien. Hi, Damien. Not here right now. Yeah. He'll be joining the FGTZ karaoke night. Hi, Damien. Yeah. What were you That's guys saying right. about Damien? Oh, man. Hi, Damien. I, just, I had to get that in one time. I'm sure you did, and now I'm scarred even more so than before. Drink with Charles. What? 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 God damn it. Ah. So what else? What's going on with you, Jerry? Oh, in regards to Jerry, now this is pod racing. 
Yeah, yeah. I just thought I'd be wearing glasses, actually, just so I could match everybody else on screen, because I'm the only one that's not wearing glasses. <laughs> Look, even Rusty's avatar is wearing glasses. Yeah, I feel like the odd one out, but Jim's not here anymore, because he just pops in when he wants. Yeah, I can't speak for everybody else, but I actually need this shit, because I can't see without it. <laughs> you you should take them off when that video ever shows up again. That might save you. Same with everybody. Oh, Toby. Look, there's that handsome boy. See, I can't even make can't anything out of my screen. screen. Yeah, I can't see the screen. I mean, I can see, like, oh, blurs man. and everything. I can see some weird guy in a green shirt, like, waving his hands. You missed it? Yeah. Missed it by that much. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was referencing me because, as you know, I'm wearing a green shirt. So, yeah. Oh, I get it. We oh, got, yeah, that guy. You got that guy right there. God. That's a navy shirt he's got on. Oh, all the yeah. other ones are gone. What the and now my this? dogs are barking. Right. Have you heard? Hey, it's Mr. T. Who's the hey, that's for later. <laughs> oh, Spoilers. Well, maybe you should say something. Oh, we even got well, I figured car. nobody would look at it until later. Too late. We just saw it. Yeah. Look, anyway, look, to get back to your question, no Luke, nothing's going on with you. me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Hello. Hey, you told me you wouldn't show that to anybody. Who's dogs barking? That would be my dogs. Nice plate of macaroni there, Jim. God damn it! I'm gonna. Air. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, moo 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 moo. Okay, ready? Now be racist. Y'all motherfuckers are fucking pissing me off. <laughs> I better slap the milk out of you. That sounds so much better. Like I'm about to slap the milk out of you, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm gonna get some milk in my duck. Oh. <laughs> Jim ruined my joke. There needs to be an easier way. To <laughs> I mean, at least talk while own. you're trying to fill your mouth with that. I can't feel my lips, boy. Where am I at? <laughs> Jesus Christ. They're all pink on the inside. Oh, it's, God damn it. Yeah, boy. What's up? I'm looking good so far. Come on, send me some crap, boy. Where's my crap? That's disgusting. All these quackers, where are they at? I love the quackers. Come on, boy. Is that a dick in my head? <laughs> what the fuck's popping on the side? <laughs> hey. I got my teeth back. I use calcium. That's why I'm alive, boy. Go to sucking. I uh, don't have nothing. Fucking get this off me. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't prepared to be a cow tonight. Come on. Hey. Yeah, apparently, apparently, the cow that you I You gotta be prepared for everything. Yeah. Be prepared. Be prepared. Find a holiday treasure in our exciting selection of gifts, including the book Be Prepared by YouTube star Frankie McDonald. And be sure to ask about our new gift card program. Get into the festive spirit at Great Canadian Dollar Store. We sell things for dollars. <laughs> That's edited, I repeat. It's edited. It's edited. It's edited, I repeat. It's edited. <laughs> I cannot believe that some Canadian convenience store has him in a commercial. It's not a convenience store. It's a dollar store. The Looney yeah, Bin. That... Just call it the Looney Bin because, you know, Canadian. It's not a... I don't Bro, get it. How Explain dare it. you insult Frankie McDonald when he gives us precious gold as when it's a podcast ending, two cans of raviolis, and it's raining onions. Rings. You forget about the best one of all. If it was raining, guess who's back? I'm back now. <laughs> yeah, Toby was there. 
He was? Yeah. Play that clip again. Yeah, look at the guy on the right. It's Toby. Guess who's back on Frank now? <laughs> oh, when Toby gets really, really old. Yeah. And fat. And, and actually starts wearing Marvel shit. And he's a Democrat. Ew. That's worse than the fucking Captain America shirt. Oh, God. What would you think of Moon Knight, Whedon? Oh, Moon, Moon Knight. I thought you were going to say Moonfall again. I was like, I just fucking told you guys. But no, no. no, Moon Knight. Oscar Isaac portrayal of a loony bin. I liked it. I thought Moon Knight was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. So did I. Yeah. I'm looking I, forward to Wednesday. Although I will say that I am, I still think it's up. Uh, hold on. Hold on. I got to go off camera. Well, I was going to say cricket. Uh oh. Oh, he had right. a company. He's got his uh, next client. Someone tell coming. Charles Whedon to tell his stepdad that he is very, very handsome. He's a very, very handsome man. He may not be able to hear this. Quill Whedon. I mean, that's a magical thing for Lou and I. That man's like Vera on Cheers. Always heard about, <sighs> never seen. Oh, that magical. is true. Uh, does he really exist? Whedon's always pulled the way to go do something for the family. Oh. We finally That's saw the family. family. Your tackles are in the oven. They're being burned. Yeah. Is, he, is this family the face back now? <laughs> so yeah. he brought you a big old box of what? Ooh, what do you have? Unboxing. Uh, that box window. was not for me. He was just carrying it. Oh. oh. Yeah. He carried that big old box around the whole house just to talk to you? Well, no. Uh, he, he, was all, he was downstairs bringing it upstairs, and he was telling me that he wanted to let my cat out of the cage. So now my cat is running around the house. Cat's out of the cage now, my friend. Oh, now it's going to attack in the cage. Well, we it's a big cage. Tail. I'm going to call Peter. Spider on my rage. Cool. I'm just a cat, cat out of a cage. cage. God Weeda, damn it. did you hear about Obi-Wan? Oh, yeah, that it got delayed? Yeah, I know about it. But then it delayed again? Yeah, once. Yeah, that's why I don't think of it as big of a deal, because it's just we have to wait two extra days. Who fucking cares? When is that coming out? Two episodes at once. Here's the catch. You realize that the day it's coming out is also the same day Stranger Things is coming out? Oh, Who cares? Christ. Really? That is horrible Another timing. One? That is horrible timing. Another wasn't, one. It wasn't originally for meant Stranger to come Things out with Stranger Things or for Obi-Wan? Out... Personally, I think it's, yes. it's horrible timing for Stranger Things because Obi-Wan trumps Stranger Things. Yeah. But we're only going to get two episodes of Obi-Wan, but also it coincides with Star Wars Celebration. Oh, they're still doing that? Fuck yeah. One of these days, I will get Star out there. Star Wars is gay. Look, look. Hey, that, that's right, Toby. Star Wars is gay. Yes, Toby, you've made your stance on the matter quite clear. <laughs> hey, but don't forget, Toby Disney will be joining us trans. this Sunday on Alpha Pod Branch to discuss his undying love for... Seven of nine. Gay sex. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. It's... Hey, Can somebody okay. say the magic word? Gay sex. Gay sex? <laughs> you shit with us. I heard it again. It's... God damn it. Here's Toby's Where? favorite scene. I, I could watch this on loop when dead. Let's get loop. But this isn't the extended one that loops forever. No. 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 What Can somebody say? explain the scene to me? Um. That electricity is going inside of them and making them go cuckoo and everybody starts fucking. <laughs> Basically, that exactly. Yeah, I'm not doing my uh, imitation of that again. I'm gonna come. Good and for I'm not you. doing my imitation of that either. Uh, what, what is this one? Sha boing boing boing. Spoilers. Okay. Hey, that's for H. Is. Don't play that's that on deep. here. <laughs> that's for H. Don't play that on here. That is not, that's one of the best clips from In Living Color. Besides C O N Spiracy. Conspiracy. That's another good one. I'll find that He's one for you one day, too. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> so rude, Lou. So fucking rude. Oh, Are you just playing all? Yeah, I don't understand. I don't get it. <laughs> okay, so that, that's that's okay. Damien. Yeah, I, 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 I've seen him. him. I've seen him before. Okay. When you get to the part where you start just clicking fucking buttons over there in the studio, generally it means the show's over. I I can't give you the specifics because I'm dumb. <laughs> Is that Where about? the fuck did that one come from? I think that's the early days of comp of Todd's interactions with uh, that, that was, was a yes. few weeks ago. Yeah, that was a couple, actually, a couple months ago. But <laughs> oh, I did, <laughs> that wasn't according to the quality of the video. I thought it was like one of the early days. No, I don't know. Someone should. <laughs> Next button you press should be the end broadcast button. <laughs> Bro, that I'm sorry, man. That plane, those fucking whatever those things are. Who the, the fuck? Bongos? It's so who creepy. The fuck, who the fuck licks spaghetti? Frankie McDonald. Oh, so Jim much. Does. Fucking hate it. Actually, uh, Jim is eating it with his hands, so that's good. What uh, the fuck, bro? You're. you're, you're <laughs> That's a lot better. <laughs> God damn, he would drain my cock if he was so. He's a fag. <laughs> 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 Where's that good one? Uh, who's the white cocksucker? <laughs> oh, but Jim's one's not here no more. Jim loves dick. <laughs> Just oh, it. hold on. You want the Jim loves dick one? Hold on. <laughs> I have all these backed up for just such an occasion. Charles, you have to save these boys. Seriously, it's up to you now. Only you can prevent forest fires, Charles. Save them. I mean, it... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You sound just like Mr. A. God damn it. Oh, oh. I am not oh. like Captain Planet here. It's just, I mean, does my skin teal? Do I have green hair? Do I like to hang out with a bunch of kids about saving planet? Yes. Probably. No. Well, we do have a, another Before show coming COVID, up tonight, maybe. so you know. Yes, yeah, and that show is called kind of I Love Dick. Like... Oh my God! What the hell? Ah. <laughs> yes. So tonight. <laughs> God damn it! Just like. Just... But this you show was also sponsored by the Vine. The... I, I have no idea what that means. The, the bond band. loves using the N word. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, how they can please. They hate, that is. And they hate trans people. Yay. The bind. Well, tune really in in about. Trans people and tune in in, a, yeah. tune in in about forty-five minutes for karaoke night. Oh, I, you know what? I love a good train wreck. No, oh, that's what you can join us. That Amy Schumer movie? Ew. Oh, yeah. yeah. God. Well, they're making another one. Oh. I, I, I'd rather watch this movie than that. Oh. I know how much you love hearing grown adults singing uh, in front of you and how comfortable it makes you feel. You really should join the karaoke show. That's why I called it a freaking train wreck, because I don't like that shit at all. It's a time to end the broadcast. Yes, it is. We're still going to go bye bye because we got the big bag of Toriyomil's rape shit. Kookaburra. Oh, okay. no. When is the podcast end at? When uh, Tyro. I did the joke, but then you did all this stuff. You missed the I joke. Didn't... Oh, well. Oh, well, Kukabura. that's the show. I what the fuck? Someone's phone just went off. <clears throat> before we go, before we close out. Put the gay like graphic and put and start playing uh, uh, Jean Claude Van Damme playing the bongos. I don't know if they'll overlap, but I'll try. Okay.
Shaboing, boing, boing. No, that's not it. That's it. Right. Close it out. Close it out. Yeah, we're not going to get any of this. Charles. God damn it. Bye-bye, everyone.